This is my new custom-built editing desktop PC. We've got the Intel Core i9, 64 gigs of RAM, and supercharged by the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti, a computer so fast that it makes a Ferrari look slow. I don't mean to sound so dramatic in that voiceover, but I'm super excited about this new computer. I kind of want to explain why this computer and this upgrade was so necessary for me. So let's jump back. What is the computer I'm currently using? That is the 2016 MacBook Pro 15 inch. And before all of you started leaving comments about being really, that's what you worked on. I've heard it enough from friends, but I want to explain why I finally made the jump. So let me explain a bit of my woes, my problems per se. Number one, my computer cannot handle 4K footage. It's just so laggy. Even if I put it into like the lowest quality, I'll like play and I'll like show other people and be like, look, everyone come look. And then it's like, and I'm like, I can't, I can't deal with that anymore. Uncompressed raw files get out, just can't even deal with it. I tried to do like spot removal in Lightroom and then the little wheel comes up. I'm like, just get rid of the zit, please. Just, it, 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 and then the zit's gone. So I don't wanna have that anymore. Number two, it interrupts my workflow state. I feel like as creators, once we get into like a flow state where we're editing and working, like that's all you wanna do is just stay in that. But the moment your computer is just like, ah, 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 I don't wanna, I'm not, no, not today, I'm not dealing with that. It interrupts that precious workflow state. So I want a computer that can keep up with me. Really, that list goes on. I do not wanna bore you with my problems, but when I upgraded from my previous laptop to that MacBook Pro, it really didn't feel like an upgrade. It just felt like I went sideways and I just didn't like it. So where does that leave me? Basically for the last year, I've been wanting to build a custom PC. Here is what I wanted from a computer. Number one, I wanted it to keep up with me and my workflow. We run an agency, we have a YouTube channel, we're pumping out three to four videos a week, plus maybe like 50 edited photos, like big ones. I'm talking like 20 megapixels, 42 megapixels. So I wanted a computer where I could install the NVIDIA 2080 Ti to solve all my issues on playback and rendering performance. What was holding me back from making that purchase in the past? Number one, I was pretty scared to switch operating systems. I was very familiar with Mac OS. This is the system I'm used to. I love iMessage, I love all these other things. And I was like, oh, Windows. <sighs> God, it's not scary at all. I've literally been using it for the last few days. I picked it up in about a few hours. So switching systems is not that scary. And number two, building my own PC sounded pretty terrifying. Guess what? Google is your best friend. YouTube is your best friend. It wasn't that hard. We built it over a weekend. So a few days ago, we went out to the store, yes. A physical store, I sound like such a millennial. Anyways, we went out and got all the parts for this custom built PC. Look how long this receipt is. It legit was the same size as Lizzie. All right, let's take a quick look at all the parts that we got to build this computer. First things first, the Intel Core i9. Next, for the tower, we got the NZXT H500i in matte black. We wanted it to look clean and simple because it came from Mac. Things had to look modern. We have the Corsair LL series light loop fan. Yo, we want this thing to look good. If we're gonna like look inside, better have some like crazy colors going on. Next, we have the Corsair Hydro series H115i. With that amount of rendering, we need some efficient cooling systems. We have the ASUS ROG XI Maximus Formula Z390 motherboard. That was a mouthful to say. We got four G-Skill Trident Z series 16 gigabyte RAMs, which equals 64 gigs of RAM. And that PS de Resistance, I'm not French. Is it French? We have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti, the fastest GPU on the market. Ooh, this thing, yes. All right, let's talk about the build. The build took us about three hours, but that was because I was still learning and our friend was still learning the specifics of this computer, but you could probably do it in less than two. I've enlisted the help from my friend Ross Bennett, who is a pro in this space, but if you're looking to build a computer, YouTube and Google are your best friends, and additionally, most computer stores have an option where a staff member will build it for you. All in all, it's basically like adult Lego. P.S. I still play with Lego. I just finished Lego City on my Nintendo. Great game. I actually did. I just beat it yesterday. <laughs> it's not as scary as you think. Think building a custom PC. So a few weeks ago, we did a video with Sarah Dietschy on her channel, explaining that we were ready to jump into PC land and build our own custom computer. Links are above if you guys wanna hear me just rant about how much I hate my MacBook. And Nvidia saw that video. That's fun to say. Nvidia saw that video. Nvidia saw that video. Say that 19 times fast. Send me a DM on Instagram with that and I'll send you my presets. So Nvidia saw that video and they reached out to us and they're like, hey, we wanna be a part of your custom built PC. And I was like, oh, Nvidia. The people who make the best graphics processing unit in the business wants to be in my computer? Hmm, let me think on that for a second. 
Yeah, obviously. So all jokes aside, legit, this item was already on my list for my custom built PC, so it was a no brainer to collaborate with them. Real quick, this is what a GPU is and what it does for video editors. GPU stands for Graphics Processing Unit. Its purpose is to render various components of images and videos such as color, shading, patterns, and textures, but most specifically light and how it renders and displays light. Processing high quality video or high quality photos generally puts a lot of strain on your computer. I'm sure most of you are familiar with your computer making this sound while you're working. Yeah, that's not just me making that sound, that's the fans because your computer is working so hard. So that's where the GPU comes into play. The NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti is designed to process the complex mathematic and geometric calculations that come into play when rendering graphics. So here are a few examples of what the 2080 Ti can handle. Number one, if you work within Premiere or After Effects, you can have stunning graphics now without sacrificing rendering performance. Number two, you can work up to 8K red raw footage. That is like the hardest footage to render ever and it plays back seamlessly, which means no more proxies or pre-caching. Number three, you can work stutter free on high resolution images like 42 megapixel RAW within Lightroom or Photoshop. So to sum all of this up, it is great for high quality video, including RAW, massive photo files, 3D rendering, upscaling, encoding and decoding, and color correction and color grading. All right, so we're gonna do a quick benchmark test. We are gonna test how quickly each computer can render out an 8K time lapse. All right, so I'm editing right now and I realize I kind of left out an important part. I realize I'm about to compare a desktop to a laptop, which is like comparing apples to oranges, vastly different. But with this benchmark test, the purpose of it is to show the difference in performance when using desktop GPU acceleration. So let's see that difference. It starts. Now. Up first, the MacBook Pro. We're gonna be exporting 201 42 megapixel uncompressed raw photos out of Lightroom. Let's see how long this takes. Oh, listen to it. It does not like me. 17 minutes, 10 seconds, 0.66. The 66 doesn't matter, but 17 minutes? Three, two, one, export, starting. Up next, we got the PC benchmark. Let's see how long it takes to do the exact same task. Almost done, almost done, almost done. Done, eight minutes and three seconds. Eight minutes and three seconds. The previous one took 17 minutes and 10 seconds. You just saved yourself nine minutes. That's almost twice as fast as that laptop. The best part about this computer, in my opinion, is that there's little to no interruptions in terms of my workflow. So if I'm uploading photos into Lightroom, I can actually go through and edit them very quickly without that stutter thing going on. As well as in Premiere, I can export photos faster and have quicker playback, which means I can pump out more videos, I can actually have higher quality videos because I want to jump into 4K and 2.7K, which plays into the whole YouTube algorithm because the algorithm favors higher quality videos, so I can jump into that sphere now, but ultimately it's saving me money and it's saving me time. And we all know that time is our most valuable resource, so you literally can't put a price tag on that. Another point is that the 2080 Ti can handle the multitasking that I want it to do. So for me, I personally like having Premiere open, Lightroom open, Photoshop open, After Effects open, kind of all at the same time in terms of what project I'm working on. So it can now handle that without any lag. And my last point, which kind of sounds a little silly, is that I'm really excited to start playing video games again. I feel like the best part of a gaming experience is how real it looks while you're playing. So you need a fast GPU that can handle that rendering. So guys, that is my custom built PC. If you guys are curious about the parts, I've listed everything below. And a big thanks to Nvidia for sponsoring this video. All right, who is thinking about switching over to PC now? who is currently operating on a PC system. And if any of you guys are curious on how we built this thing, you guys wanna see that video? If so, comment below while you're there, give it a like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for future videos. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Do you guys like my little green background here? I tried to make it like the inside of the computer. I think it looks cool. Maybe we're inside the computer. Maybe this is the matrix. Guys, I almost did the shimmy there. I know one of you guys are gonna comment on it. A little shoulder shimmy. I'm sure most of you are familiar with your computer sounding like this. Damn you light the second time. <laughs>